What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we got some things we gotta do to the Mustang, and we have a part that came in from Extreme Online Store that we're gonna be installing that. I'm actually pretty excited to put on because I'm very curious to see how it's gonna look on this car. So first, we gotta move the car to over here so we can install it, and then we'll get the install going. So as you guys can see, we have this huge box, literally probably six foot six. I'm six three. It's pretty high. Um, but yeah, this is a big box. So we have a pretty cool part that's in here. So let's open it up for you guys. Today we're going to be transforming the rear end of this car with this GT500 diffuser that Extreme Online Store sent us out to try on. I'm pretty excited. I'm not really sure how it's going to look, but we're going to have to take off the Street Arrow diffuser, which I've liked. It's been on this car for a while now, but I did just run into that. Uh, but I did like this, so we're going to be changing it up a little bit. Though. Of course, we got our little helper out today. She's always helping out when we do our installs. But yeah, I'm not really sure how long this is gonna take. I hope it doesn't take long because it is freaking hot in Florida. All we gotta do is take off the street arrow diffuser and then we could just put this one on. All right, to start this off, we gotta take off the street arrow diffuser. So I can't really lift the car up on the jack because it's too, the car is too low to do that and I don't have any pavers to drive it up on. So we're gonna attempt to take out the screws with this thing just by, you know, sliding under there so let's see how well this goes all right so i couldn't feel the drill underneath the car so i had to put the car up on these pavers that i did find uh, i jacked the car up a little bit and now we should be able to get the drill underneath all right well guys it's been a little bit and i did get a piece of the diffuser off but i realized it would be so much easier if i just take the whole bumper off that way i could do all the screws and stuff easily on a table or something because it is very hard to get these little screws that are way back there with this exhaust here so i'm just gonna follow a video and take the whole back bumper off and then it'll be so much easier okay a little progress update we took out the tail lights and that was not that hard to do actually believe it or not these are the big subwoofers that I had to get out of the way. So next up, we got to unclip some more stuff and then we're taking the bumper off. So it looks like we've run into our first issue. So if you look right here, we have to get that bolt out and this does not fit in there. So we can't do that. So what we need is a wobble socket and we do not have a wobble socket. So I might have to go to the store and buy one. But I can't go to the store because I already took my taillights out of the car and I'm not gonna put my taillights back in just to go to the store and then come back and take them out. I don't feel like doing all that. So I'm just gonna wait until I have another car so that I could drive to the store, buy the wobble socket, come back and then continue. But until then, we're just probably gonna clean up a little bit. All right, so we ended up taking the whole bumper off. We have finally finished that part. We got the part we need it was definitely a little bit of a challenge but it wasn't too crazy but we got the whole bumper sitting right here now we're gonna take off a few things and then add that diffuser put it back on and we'll be good to go all right so I finished the car I put the bumper back on everything is all secured on the car now we're parked up in a secret location and I'm about to show you guys this diffuser dang look at that that looks crazy give you guys a little close up a little close up look at the bumper and the diffuser this is the GT500 diffuser. I don't know. I think the other one, to be honest, looks more aggressive, but this one just looks more clean overall. If you guys are understanding what I'm saying, let me know if in the comments if you guys agree, if you guys like this one or the Street Arrow one to better. I don't know. I think the other one's more aggressive, but then I, then again, I think this one's looked, looked more clean and not as riced out as you guys would say. I love just trying out different things in this car, giving it a different look once in a while because I don't like to keep it the same for too long. That's why I change things up. Uh, man, this car is just coming together though. But the car is still for sale for anyone that's still wondering. I made a video about it being for sale and it is still for sale. I've talked to many, I've talked to so many different people about this car already, but I'm just waiting to find the right owner and working out deals and stuff. So it's gonna take a little bit, but this car is still for sale. So if you are interested, uh, hit me up on Instagram, it's Adam 5 Pinot, or my email that's in my bio. It's about to start storming, as you guys can see, and Florida storms are pretty bad. So we're gonna get out of here. Let's give this thing a little warm start. Gets loud 
louder and louder every single day. I don't know. Weird. But it damn sure sounds good. Just listen to that idol. Let's get out of here. Well guys, it has been a couple days since I've picked up this camera and there's a reason for that. It's because I wanted to make sure that this diffuser that we installed did not fall off or anything and everything seems to be on perfectly fine. So I guess we did the job right. Once again, shout out to Extreme Online Store for sending out this diffuser. We're gonna be working with this company in the future and hopefully next up they send us a front bumper, maybe the GT350 or GT500 bumper. I still gotta decide which one I think looks best on this car. If you guys are interested in buying anything for car related like Corvettes or Mustangs, or anything hit the link in the description below and it'll send you to their store i've said this before and i swear by this the reason this car gets so much attention other than the exhaust is because of this hood this hood you do not see on many cars and i feel like it only fits perfectly good with the black cars because i don't know it just looks so much better than the stock hood especially on black cars and this front end is going to look absolutely ridiculous with the Cervini hood combined with a GT350 front bumper. And we are going to be installing that ourselves if we do get that sent out. Let's give you guys one last look at this diffuser. Yeah, it looks pretty good. The other one looked more aggressive like I've said, but this one just looks more clean and general. GT350 style. Even though we are adding parts to this car all the time, this car is still for sale and I'm gonna mention that in every single video until this car is sold. I'm dealing with people every single day, probably like five people every single day. I'm waiting for people to get approved for loans. I'm waiting for people to respond back. So this car is definitely still getting attention and people are still hitting me up about the car. So it's just a waiting process and it's gonna take a little bit as I expected really. This car hopefully is sold within the next the next month, I'd like to have this car sold before my 21st birthday in August. That way we can get something really special. Um, I've, I have been looking for cars every single day. I'm looking for cars. I'm on Auto Trader, Facebook Marketplace. The cars that I'm interested in are the Trackhawk Z06 C7, Hellcat, and even a GTR, one that is actually pretty cheap. We have to get this car sold first before we do anything. So if you are interested in buying this car, hit me up on Instagram, it's Adam 5.0, or at my Gmail, it's Adam 5.0 info at gmail.com, and we'll talk and we'll get this thing sold. Yeah, this car needs to be sold pretty soon. That way we can get us a new car but until the car is sold as far as the future mods go in this car from bumper possibly uh, new wheels new lug nuts because if you guys take a look here they are all rusted out I'm um, trying to think what other mods we need to do in this car this car is pretty much almost maxed out maybe some underglow I've seen a couple people do that on their cars it looks pretty cool that's a possibility also, I don't think I've mentioned this. Whoever the car is sold to, they will be getting the louvers. They will be getting the side scoops, the window covers, the su stock suspension. Um, they'll be getting any parts that I have for this car that is not currently on this car. So they will be getting a lot of items. I'm sorry for the lack of content lately for everyone that's been waiting. Um, I've just been waiting to get this thing installed, waiting for things to be shipped out. And I am working a lot too, so I don't really have a lot of time to be filming. But I hope to be holding this camera a lot more especially when a new car comes to this channel we're gonna have so many more videos that we are gonna make but until then we're gonna be rocking with this car and we're gonna just find some new content maybe some races in the future definitely would like to race a couple of people before this car is gone so if you are interested in racing 
hit me up on Instagram, it's Adam 5.0, and we'll set up a little race. And yeah, I'm excited. We haven't really raced at all with this car. Well, I wouldn't say at all, but we haven't raced a lot. So I'm definitely excited to do that. What is it? Oh, this car is just dirty. I haven't washed this thing in a bit, and there's hella bugs out here. We've been getting so much rain in Florida. Like, we've had monsoons every single day, and we haven't had rain in a while. It has gone, like, two months without rain. So we definitely need it, but it's kind of annoying. And the living situation, we are currently moving somewhere. Uh, more on that soon, and this thing will be parked Either this car or another car is going to be parked in a garage, which is a great thing because if you guys, any of the OGs that have been watching for a while, you guys have known this car has not been parked in a garage for a very, very long time. Uh, it's been about three, four years since thing has been parked in a garage, so it's going to be nice. But that's all I really have to say left about this car and the future plan. So if you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. Make sure to hit that like button, comment what you think. I respond to every single one of you guys in the comments if you have a serious question. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.